Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bell Loves Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Bring my flowers now while I'm living. I won't need your love when I'm gone. Don't spend time, tears, or money on my old breathless body. If your heart is in them flowers, bring them on. All the miles cast a long shadow. I'd take a couple back if I could. I done learned to play guitar, tell my daddy more I loved him, but I believe for the most part I done good. There's always sunrise and rainbows and babies and the little things I cherish on the way. And even though one day they'll bury me and Jesse Ray, I just know we're gonna ride again someday. Bring my flowers now while I'm living. I won't need your love when I'm gone. Don't spend time, tears, or money on my own breathless body. If your heart is in them flowers, bring them on. Hey guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Effingham, say hello. Oh, you like that song. So do I. All right, you guys. So, hey, welcome to the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, you should know it's a Dollar Tree channel. Effingham, tell them why it's a Dollar Tree channel. Because everything in the Dollar Tree is a... And a quarter. A dollar and a quarter. That's right. Sharon, just for you. Hold on. Here we go. Ready, 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 ready. Effingham, say hello. There he is. What? He's being camera shy. That's not, what, what's wrong with you? Oh, you weren't ready. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Effingham. All right. That song, by the way, you guys. Oh, it's such a pretty song. Bring my flowers now while I'm living. Now I won't need your love when I'm gone. Tandy Tucker. So you, uh, Marcus and I watched a Netflix documentary about Tandy Tucker and Brandy Carlisle. Brandy Carlisle is the one that does all of these lines across my face. For all my besties that have been around, that's the one I sang at our wedding. Okay, anyway, you got to watch this Netflix documentary. It's a really good one about Tandy Tucker and Brandi Carlisle bringing her out of retirement, and she records that song on her album. It was done in, in 2019, and in 2020, that song won the Grammy for Best Country Music. So anyway, there you go. Bring my flowers now while I'm living. Basically, we'll watch the docuseries. It's so good. She said that to Loretta Lynn. She was heading to a funeral. She's like, I told her, bring my flowers now while I'm living. Anyway, and from that came a song. So it's a beautiful song. Watch that documentary. All right, enough about that. Guess what today is? Today is holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. Bring my haul now while I'm living. <laughs> okay, so let's just dive right in because I have a Dollar Tree haul here with some fun new finds. And my first, nope, second Christmas item I've bought. All right, so as usual, I start with food, right? Effingham, food, it's food time, what? Yes, all right, so let's just dive right in. I've already hauled this, I think, once, um, but I found it again, and it is the Pace Salsa Mild. Did I haul mild before, or was it medium? What was it? No, I hauled mild, but they had medium there too. I should've got the medium, I thought I'd haul. Well, whatever. You guys, this is a good buy at a buck twenty-five. So that's a nice find to find there. This is good until do do do. Um, mama, ma, ma, I can't read it. December of twenty-three. So soon. <laughs> okay, but that's okay. It's really, I mean, um, it's also something that you know it's pretty decent for you, right? It's only ten calories and two tablespoons. Come on, you put it on eggs. You put it on all kinds of things. I think I'm getting a cold. So if I cough, I'm sorry. I have water here. Either that or I'm allergic to something today. 
Okay, so moving right along, we found the paste piccani, and that's such a, a paste salsa. <clears throat> such a good buy, you guys, at buck twenty-five. All right, I found some more of the rice. So I keep showing this, um, but you know, I show you what I buy. These are phenomenal. They're super easy. We're using them for lunches, so they're there. I don't know how. I don't know if it's always going to be there. If this is going to be something that they bring out um, all the time, but I feel like things come and go in the food department. It's by Riviana Foods, and so they can be there for a while, and then it's not. And I had found the old fashioned oats. I hauled these last week. So, hold on. There's a blue package and then this orange one. So, this is quick oats and this one's old fashioned oats. So, I found them both. So, I've tried those. Marcus eats oatmeal almost every morning. Um, yeah. So, I was like, oh, hey, there's another one. This is the first time I just found this one. And um, I don't know. It's. A pound, I, is that good? Buy for a buck to I don't know. But, you know, I'm gonna try it for you because we tried those Dollar Tree foods for you. And then the last thing that I got was hairs, because they're hers, because they're my favorite chip brand. And they had the tortillas hint of lime. I do not believe I've tried these before. I'm sure they'll be amazing. I should try them with the pace, right? I mean, um, but it's, it's, so it's tortilla chip with a hint of lime. These are only five ounces, but a buck twenty-five. My gosh, go to the grocery store right now and look at the price of chips. What? It's insane, like insane. Uh, uh, thankfully, chips are not something that we buy here. I only buy them when I'm buying them for Foodie Fun Day to try for you guys. Okay, so that was it in food. Like not a whole bunch in food this time. But <clears throat> speaking of food, how about food for the animals, right? No, no, not you, Effingham, not you. No, uh, uh. Mm -mm, they don't. I tell you this all the time. There is no cow food there. All right, so first I got some stuff for Friday, little Friday kitty kitty. So Sheba, every once in a while they will have this there, the little cat foods. Now, I don't normally, I think this is kind of expensive. I'm spending like 63 cents a serving for a little, I mean, not that that's a lot for Friday. But when we leave and somebody else is here taking care of the cat, then this is easy because they can just open it up. Because normally... We'll do like the cans with a lid on it and just give him a portion of it because it's just in the morning when he when he goes outside and then comes back in. But I have these for when it's somebody watching the cat and it's just easier. So I grabbed a couple of those. I'm going to put them in the cat drawer, which is right here, cat food drawer. The cat, the cat has a food drawer in the kitchen. How many of you have a food drawer for your cat in the kitchen? Because we do. Yes, we do. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Um, and then also I found these. Now, if Friday is not in here, kitty, 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 the dog will come running. Um, but I was like, okay, I don't know. These are made in the USA cent uh, center filled cat treats. They're by Delightables. This is chicken flavor. And so it looks like, oh my gosh, you came. Look at you, baby boo boos. Come here. Come here, Friday. You want to try one? Do you want to try one? Oh, come here. Let's see if you like it. Come here. Friday came when I called him. What a good boy. Do you want to try the treat? What do you think? It's right there. Right there. It's like, here. No, huh? What if I put you down? Want to try it then? Look at that. Okay, well, that is not a big hit, but you know who will like them. <laughs> anyway, they're just little itty bitty bitty. Um... Little itty bitty. Do you want to try one? Friday here. Why don't you like them? He can be very finicky. He's a weird cat. All right, well, if that's any indication, you guys, Friday wouldn't. He didn't seem to like them. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe some other time. Are you tired? What's going on? I call you, you come in here, and then you won't eat your treat, huh? What's going on, huh? Uh, oh, oh. Oh, was Jax pooping you out? Is he chasing you around Friday? On oh, your trendy beat, get free. Okay, bye-bye. Friday's phone, bye bye All right. Doesn't like the treats. That's, I'm not surprised. All right, that's okay. We'll figure out. I mean, probably the dog will eat them. And then, obviously, I grabbed a couple more. Water buffalo ear, you know. I love these. Jax loves these. But then I found water buffalo dog treats. So, this is like water buffalo jerky dog treats. So, this has like little pieces in it. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll try those. Um, yeah, he's out. He's in here. Can you hear him? He's like literally chasing the cat. Hey, Jax, do you want to try the cat treat? Come here. 
Come here. You want to try the cat treat? Come here, Jax. Come here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mommy, pick you up. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. I got one for you. Come here. Oh, you're, 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 you want the dog. There, see? Yeah. He'll eat the cat treat. I didn't even... That you, what did you do? Swallow them whole? Holy buckets. You don't even care if there's a center in the middle, huh? You're like, Mom, that's good. Yeah, go tell, go tell Friday they're good. Okay, bye-bye. All right, I don't know. I'm going to go chase Friday somewhere. So... I had not seen the water buffalo jerky, so I grabbed that to try that, and I'm sure he'll love that. We do a thing when we leave in the morning, we know we're leaving him here, he gets a treat when we leave. It's just to sort of be like, oh, sorry, we're leaving. Sorry, <laughs> here's a treat, but he loves it. I mean, it makes him very happy. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, yeah, no. Evan what would I give you for a treat? Oh, a hug. Okay. Uh Yes, I can hug you goodbye in the morning. I promise. I will try. Okay. Good. Yes, I will. All right. Let's move on. So we've done food. We've done animal food, people food, animal food. Now let's go to cleaning supplies. So this was a new product <clears throat> and I had not seen it there. And it's handy wrap, which is like a handy wrap is a, um, you know, like a wrap, like a food wrap thing. And these are trash bags that are scented, lavender scented by wizard so it's a brand right and there's 15 bags in here 13 gallon so i was like yeah i use them in my on my bedroom trash um can in our kitchen trash can we use a bigger one we have a great big antique crock pot that is our trash can that sounds bizarre but it's really cool um and so we get the big hefty black trash bags for that but these i use in the bedroom and i thought oh lavender scented so i hadn't seen those before and i know i can't smell right now anyway <clears throat> and then this, which is new, Let Me Shine Disinfecting Spray, Fresh Scent, Bleach Free. I've never heard of this before. It is um, distributed by Let Me Shine. Don't know what Let Me Shine is, but it's not a Dollar Tree product normally. And this says, said, you know, it's just a disinfecting spray. So I wonder if it smells good. Oh, it's got a nice top on it, you guys. It's got the twisty, right? Twisty to open it. I like those. Let's see. Oh, hey, that smells pretty good. It's really like a good bathroom spray, I think. Speaking of things that you spray and smell good, I found these, and these are brand new. So they're really coming up with these very trendy looking packaged items at Dollar Tree. Like this is the peppermint dish soap, very trendy in the packaging. This is also very trendy. I just hauled the room <clears throat> deodorizers that were really trendy. So this is a linen, linen and room spray with essential oil. This one is apple cinnamon and this one is vanilla, brown vanilla sugar scent. So these are very holiday scented, right? I'm sure they're gonna smell amazing. Let's see, I spray should shine them in the... Oh, that, whoo, that is some apple cinnamon. That's strong, you guys. Let's try the brown sugar. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Let's try. No, wrong way. Mmm, not as strong. The apple cinnamon one's really, really, really strong. If that's important to you, that's super strong. So, 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 some new linen sprays again. The really trendy packaging is really, they're doing a great job on doing their trendy packaging. We like it. Okay, <clears throat> health and beauty aisle. Um, in the baby section, they've had a lot of Fisher Price stuff there, but how cute is this? The little Fisher Price um, toothbrush. So it's the toddler toothbrush, perfect for teething toddlers, and it's got like the two packs. So um, one is like a bigger grip, and then this one looks like they can put their hand through it. Anyway, hey, I mean, I have a couple babies in the fam, so I was like, oh yeah, definitely grabbing that. I thought that was super cute. Um, and it's Fisher Price. So come on, name brands for a buck twenty-five. You can't beat it. Speaking of name brands, I also found this, which is Ladies Choice Tropical Escape Body Spray. This is what I would consider a travel size, and it's Tropical Escape. Yeah. Woo! It's really strong right now. Let's see. We go from apple cinnamon to Tropical Escape. I feel like I'm. Don hoeing it. Okay, that's pretty good. So I actually got this to take to the camper to put at <clears throat> the camper. So one of the things is in the RV that's out in our 
on our property that we go camping it. You never want to have something super large there because, of course, you don't go through it as often. Um, and I don't really use perfume. But, you know, when we leave or going into bed and whatnot, especially, although Marcus loves the smell of campfire, um, it's nice to have body sprays there. So I grabbed that. This smells pretty good. So what do you do? Okay, and then also on the health and beauty aisle, I grabbed some um, washcloths and a hand towel. And these are not great quality, but this is for my guest bathroom. My guest bathroom used to be red and black. I got rid of all that when we did the estate sale and I have decorated it with my beach stuff, all the beach stuff that I made. And so these are really good accent color for the beach stuff. And so hand towels and some washcloths to put in a little basket on my thing. I should show you guys my, my um, beach bathroom. Yeah, I can't, it's too dark now. Like I'd have to do it during the day, I think, to get a good visual on it. Okay, but I will. I'll try and remember to do that sometime. And then um, I found one book, which, wait, oh, by the way, I'm going to go over this. So I know that these are not great quality, but there's two washcloths in here for buck twenty-five. See, when you talk about that stuff, like you can replace them if the quality is so great at those prices, right? I feel like the, the, the towel, you know, the bath towel is really important for that good quality, but... The other stuff, like, eh. Okay, so I found one book. Now, here's what I want to tell you guys about this book. So, it sometimes it's not about the content of the book. Sometimes it's about the size and the color of the book for decorating. I was going to see if the price was on here. It's not. It means it's inside the book. This book, which is huge, was $35. This is Ellen DeGeneres Home. And it's, um, it features homes that she's lived in, homes of her friends, and design styles and whatnot. It's actually beautiful, beautiful photography in, in this book. Like, just gorgeous pictures of interior. Um, so, there's that. But, the other thing about it that's really cool is the color for every home right now is gray. So, this is like a great book to buy as a display piece in your home. You can use it as a riser just to put it somewhere leaning because you want a pretty book somewhere. So I'm not big on the cover, but this color is so good. It's a beautiful gray color. I'm always looking at the color of the books when I'm there. I'm going to do a, a Halloween book stack. I think I have like one more week of Halloween. Why? I don't know. I should stop, but it doesn't matter. There's a haunted house coming out Thursday. Don't miss that one. All right, so... A $35 book for a buck 25. It's a beautiful design piece. It's a beautiful piece to use for decorating in your home. And it's an absolutely amazing coffee table because of all the beautiful pictures in it. I cannot breathe. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> Let's move right along. Um, I grabbed a couple of things in the man aisle. One of them was a black light LED bulb. I'm not sure why. I was just thinking it would be fun to put, you know, out at Halloween. And to show you that it was there. <laughs> Don't know. Um, yeah, fun for parties. Neon reactive glow. Well, of course, yeah. So they have black lights there. And then this, I think, is a really cool item, though. And so I grabbed three packages of it because I'm using this in my craft area. So these are so cool. They're basket labels. So let me show you. See this on the back there? So they have little clip. It, like clips on but i'm thinking not just for baskets i'm thinking for tubs i'm thinking for everything like i just could have so much fun with this and in my closet i definitely need to label my baskets like they're all up there like one's beanies one's scarves right for because it gets cold in arizona it does not like other places but it does it gets pretty cold at night so anyway i think these are super cool you get three in here for a buck 25 i love this idea and it's um three label holders and 12 blank labels so you put a label on it but they give you extra labels so you can change the label and it looks like the label just sticks on it do you want to find out should we find out let's find out let's find out yeah look so the label slides in even better shoot you could put little pictures in here you guys that's cool okay i love these i think those are really awesome awesomeness all right so found there those now let's go right into to crafts. I got a couple of fall things, but then I got some non-fall. So not that long ago, I picked up fruit. I think I got an orange, a lemon, an apple. I don't know, but not a pear. 
So I found the pair, so I was like, I'm grabbing one pair because eventually I'm gonna start doing my kitchen. And then they had these. Check these out. I only got three. I think I don't need any more carrots. First of all, they're obnoxious orange. Obnoxious. These need to have shoe polish wiped all over them, the brown shoe polish, to give it some depth and some color. But they're super cute. I mean, we're gonna be like using them obviously for Easter and I could put, yeah, put one in your mouth for Easter. That'd be kind of funny, like how out of a cow's mouth. Okay, no, they're not real. Um, so, but I thought those were pretty cool. So this is that Farmer Square, which is sort of a new tag that they're coming, they're, they've they started and it's got, this also had that Farmer Square on it. Oh no, there's a bruise on my pair. Okay. I should just take something and like really brown that out because it would look real then, right? It would totally look real. Okay. All right, so, and in the crafting aisle, this was the only thing that is non-seasonal besides the fruit. And this is a stamp, but I don't really stamp. I'm not stamping. Um, however, I absolutely love this, and I'm like, you can stamp without having ink. I can totally go over this with shoe polish and stamp it down and do a design. I should show you guys that. And I just really loved, particularly this, and look at this, it's very French with all the words, beehive, eh, whatever. Um, so I got it just for that. Not because I'm gonna start stamping, because I am not, I used to stamp, but I'm not going to, I do not want to increase my craft supply by that much again. Same reason I won't do a Cricut, same reason. Like I wanna keep my craft supplies, it's already huge, right? And every time you add another element on for crafting, you know, the, the, but it's like um, chalk paste, right? Chalk couture, whoever. Nope, not gonna happen. I'm gonna figure out how to craft without doing all those things because then it just, it just your craft becomes blah, blah, blah. And then you have to get it, and then you have to have a whole house just for your craft supplies. And I don't want that. Nor do I wanna encourage that for anybody else. So stick with the basics. And I just got this, not because I'm gonna stamp, but because I can use it, the stamp without buying inks, which is true. All right, and then in the fall, I found these. Now, I also found them in some other colors. I found them in like orange and like yellow. The white for me was different and I felt like I can just make them whatever color I want. So I grabbed those. Um, it's really the gourds here that I like the best. That would be Marcus. He's finishing our first bedroom flooring today. Yeah, he didn't, probably doesn't even know I'm filming. Okay, oh yeah, no, hold on, I'm sorry you guys. See, the, see, I got them in two colors. So there's the white, and there was the darker one. I guess we're gonna have to pause. Okay. <laughs> I'll just show you guys the floor when we're all done in there, because it looks really good. He's finishing up the first room. All right, so then I found something brand new, and I'm like, what, seriously? Speaking of Chalk Couture, they, I mean, they're coming up with so many stencils. So let me just show you the stencils um, I got there two big ones and some small ones. So check these out. I love these. Um, I mean, they're just all these fall things like happy fall, y'all. Fall is proof that change is beautiful. Autumn is my favorite color. Oh my gourd, I love fall. Welcome autumn. So these are like little ones, you know. And then they have these long ones, which I think are kind of cute. Um, and this says pumpkin patch. Welcome home pumpkin. Welcome fall. But what do you, what, I don't know what you use this size on. Like, it's so small. I don't know. And then um, these are a little bit bigger, so I like this. This is eat, drink, and be thankful. Welcome to our patch. Happy Thanksgiving. Let us be thankful. So there's that. I like, those are a little bit bigger, a little bit more useful. And then there's this, which I love this, but not because I would probably wouldn't use the whole thing. I would just use certain parts of it and manipulate it how I want. And then <clears throat> this one is three that say forever thankful, always grateful, abundantly blessed. So there you go, some stencils. But these are the really good ones. Now think about it, this cost me a buck 25 and these cost me a buck 25. I'm like, wait, what? come on, check this out. So this says grateful, blessed, thankful. And there's two in here, two stencils. So I'm not sure you can see this one on the back, but it says thankful and blessed. So you get two, 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 yeah. And these are a better size. And then this one says, hello pumpkin. And this one is give thanks. 
So, but I mean, again, like this element right here, I'm loving this, the leaves and the acorn and all that. So, and I looked up how to do chalk paste. So I think I'm gonna make some chalk paste um, just because it's great. It is great for stenciling, but I'm just not gonna go buy a ton of it. So look for the new fall stencils. I'm assuming these will come out every season now, which is great because I don't need to go spend a bunch of money online buying them. Besides that, <clears throat> we all collect these things and we don't use them all, right? So we just have this massive craft collection. It's a lot easier, it goes down easier when I'm only spending a buck 25 versus ordering a bunch of stuff online and then, you know, I get a $25 pack of stencils and I use one and three years before I knew I use another one. For me, that doesn't work. That's not what I wanna do. So I really do try and keep it very basic. I have tons of craft supplies, but I don't go off on some of the, you know, those things. Okay, so I'm actually gonna save home decor pieces for last because I found some really cool stuff. So let's just, I only picked up a couple of Christmas things and <clears throat> the first one is the picks. So I'm in love with this. I just think this is so pretty. It's so not your norm Christmas color, but I absolutely love it. So I grabbed two of those, uh, three of those. And then the sugared sort of berries with the leaves and then the sparkly greenery. This I think looks like carrot top, by the way, <laughs> like a carrot topper, but anyway, they're all, these are good. So just some, just a few picks for Christmas. I'm not gonna buy a bunch of Christmas stuff. I have Christmas stuff to still craft with. And so I'm trying not to buy as much seasonally, but I had to, but I had to, cause I had to. Isn't this cute? It's a miniature flock tree. Like what? It's so cute. Um, so I had to, so I did. There you go. Mm -hmm. There's my, yeah. I don't even have to do anything with it. Just put it somewhere at Christmas time. Wait, when we get in the RV, this will be our Christmas tree. This right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm not. Yes, yeah, she'll fit in the RV. Uh-huh. We're taking. Don't worry. But how cute. Like a little. Here's our Christmas tree. <laughs> so I don't even know. All right. <clears throat> the final thing we have. So hold on. I got to drink water. Definitely. I got to have some tea after I'm done with this. Getting old. Ugh. All right. Home decor, I found some stuff that I'm really, really, really like. So I'm just gonna dive right in and show you those. First of all, <clears throat> this is a brand new, well, I guess this is a craft item actually, but they have wood ornaments. What? So they give you the three little rounds, the twine, and the holes already in them so you're making wood ornaments. Do you guys know how to do Mod Podge with, with photos? So you can make photo ornaments out of this. You use your Mod Podge, you do the reverse, and if you haven't done it, there's directions. Go online and watch that, it's super easy. So, um, yeah. Like fun. Hey, these, we could do some little fall things cause this would almost fit on there. Oh my gourd, I love fall. Would almost fit on there. So you could stencil on these. But so pretty new item, found that. Now, home decor also in the craft section. So I guess this is crafting, but I put it all in home decor. Love these. Love these. Okay, so I grabbed two that were the same. They had some other designs. I just grabbed one of these. By the way, this would make a beautiful Christmas, uh, faux Christmas tree. Just take it and paint it up and change, you know, uh, do these as different colors and string some lights on it. Be super cute, little easy um, Christmas decoration. But these two, so they have more. They have other designs. But these two I grabbed because I want to do them <clears throat> and put them like above something, like a bow above, you know, a mirror or something. And these would be really cool. You could take a design and Mod Podge, a napkin design onto these, you could paint them. So many things that you could do, but I just stain them. You could just absolutely, you could just stain them. But I think they're very pretty and I think it'd just be really pretty to put, do like this. You could put a bow in the center and some real greenery if you wanted to and it's a decoration piece above a doorway, above a mirror, or something like that, or above a picture. Just think it's really pretty. So that's my idea for those. And it could be done holiday. I mean, it could be done for fall, it could be done for Christmas, or it could just be done for every day home decor. But either way, I think that's really cool. Okay, so now here's the new items that I found. So follow me on this one. They have these little miniature houses with the beads in between. Okay, cute. I kind of want to take them apart and I'm guessing that this is just all glued 
it is glued onto something. Maybe they're just glued together. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I don't know. Okay, so so file. I was thinking I could maybe take them apart, but what I wanted to do was to take six of these little houses and just do ho 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 and make it Christmas. So there's eight here, but and I might still be able to do that. Just take them apart and just do like three brown ones and three white ones and do ho ho ho. I thought that would be cute, or paint them all white. I don't know. I just wanted to show you the different ones. So love and live, but I just completely want to redo them. I don't necessarily want to keep it the love and live. That's just me. <clears throat> okay, so those are brand new. They're kind of cool. Just the little, now I'm looking at them, I'm seeing all kinds of things. Look, you could put them together like this. Be like, you can make these little, hey! You can make these little signs from my, from my little, uh, I don't know where those ones go. I guess it wouldn't work, would it? No, because they go the wrong way. But anyway, so you could certainly, yeah, do what you want with them, okay? All right, so I found those, and I wanted to do ho, ho, ho. And then, <coughs> sorry, I found this, which is a new piece, and they had some other ones. But this is really interesting. So it is, it's like a, the, you know, the, it's a, again, they're giving us two things now instead of just one. So they usually do these in the holidays and it'll say something on and it's just one. I need a scissor or something here. Um, and it's like a, it's like a little sign. So what they've done is they've given us two in here. So this is really interesting. I'm gonna open it to show you. So this is the bottom and then this is the top. So I think it's really cool. I suppose you could go this way too. Right, but they're, they definitely, they complement each other. Um, yeah, I, it's interesting. I suppose it'd be, I don't know. Anyway, it could go, it goes either way, I guess. Cause it also looks really good that way, but it looks good this way. I think it's supposed to go this way though, because then they're both open on that side. Anyway, just wanted to show you those. This one says, bless our home with love and laughter. I do like this blue pattern, the floral pattern here in this blue. I think it's very pretty. It feels very bathroomy to me for some reason. Um, but, so that's a new item. And they had a couple other ones. I picked, I just picked up the one to show you and I picked the blue because I like the blue. But of course we can paint these and do them for other things too. Oh wait, I could paint one and it would, the, I could put this on it. Look at that. See, these would fit on that. Almost, they're not quite wide enough, are they? They are not. They just wouldn't have the border. Okay, gonna find something to stencil those on. <laughs> um, and then these two, which are fun and different, they're really, really, really stepping it up. Like these are the kinds of things we used to do, right? We'd buy these things and we'd string them up and we'd put the beads and now they're doing it for us. Thank you. So this one says, home sweet home. They're using this black with the green a lot right now and I like it. So this one's cool. Um, I'm not sure that I would use it. I'm just showing it to you and probably take it apart. But I was thinking also, you could Mod Podge these, take them off, and they make great little coasters. Um, there's an idea. Okay, and then there's the square one, which is family is forever. Now, I hate this one. I just don't understand the in, in the middle. It matches in no way, shape, or form. Why? Why did they do that? It just doesn't match, does it? But I wanted to show them to you because, um, you know, they're they're new they're really stepping it up by putting all these elements together. Look at the beads on the top. It's smaller, smaller, large, 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 smaller, smaller on the bottom. So they are paying attention and they are designing some stuff that's cooler. So we're getting closer. This isn't necessarily doing it for me, but I wanted to show it to you guys. Okay. So, and then I'm saving my favorite thing for last, but these I think are really good. I was like, wow. Okay. So... These are just like wood, I think they would, I'm gonna show you on my iPad here. Will it stand like that? It does. I'm just not holding it straight. So it's a little standing piece, which is a shooting star. It's great all by itself. It's literally good all by itself. It's just very natural woods and I love how they've layered it so that we have three dimensional, see that? This piece is really good. And there's even, they've, the dimension is so good because they put holes in the bottom piece 
See that? So you have one, two, three levels of wood. Really good. And it's, it's so good just to all by itself. I don't think you need to do anything to this. I think this is a fabulous piece all by itself. And then there's this one. And I was like, also a fabulous piece just all by itself. However, this one you can for sure take that macrame twine, add it on here, and put a hanger on it. Because, you know, everybody's doing those, the rainbow macrame thing. So I love this. I'm loving the neutrals. Also the same thing. It gives one, two, three levels of depth there because the first piece has, you know, cutouts in it, right? And then anyway, so love the depth that they're giving us there. That's really good. Those are good pieces for a buck 25, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, my favorite thing I found. Like this, this is so cute. It needs to be upgraded for sure, which I will do. But it's this little, I don't even know what you call these. What do you call these, a flip sign? I don't know. I don't know, but that's so cute. And it says, kitchen closed, beat it, or kitchen open, roll on in. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'll finish cleaning this up for my kitchen. I'm thinking like, I'm gonna take and paint it black on all the sides. And then I might even give it a little bit of aging just because. And then I just think it'd be super cute little kitchen decor piece. Love this, love this. Love this. That's my favorite thing from today's haul. All right. What's your favorite thing other than, other than my RV tree? Yeah. What's your favorite thing that I got today? Huh? I mean, there's so much fun stuff. Okay. <clears throat> but again, oh, well, there weren't any moose snacks. Okay. The quality. I just want to remind you guys, they're definitely stepping up the quality and that's so nice to see. All right, everybody have a great day, a great week and a great life. And remember, bring my flowers now while I'm living. I won't need your love when you're gone. Don't spend time, tears, or money on my old breathless body. If your heart is in them flowers, bring them on. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Watch that Tandy Tucker thing on, on documentary on Netflix. It's so good. All right, everybody. I love you, bestie. We will see you next week. Don't forget, Thursday for sure, Haunted House. And I should have a video out Tuesday of Totally Easy Halloween. Okay, bye, guys. Love you. Thanks for watching.